Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel, Evolve with Monette. For those of you that are new here, I am a professional intuitive empath. And if you're interested in booking with me, you can find me on evolvingwithmonette.com. Listen guys, I did a video, this is a companion for that, in my channeled messages that I was getting to convey to you guys. I skipped over one of the most integral parts that may help you understand the depth of Jay-Z's 444. <clears throat> what he's done brilliantly in the video that I will connect below and the video that is connected in the other video, Jay-Z and Beyonce, The Blueprint, is 100% him allowing every part of the world to be introduced to the reality of love from a black perspective or life from a black perspective it's artistic this video is eight minutes the song is maybe four if you were just to listen to it sonically i will include a lyric connection below if you just want to tune into the lyrics to really hear and feel the energy of what he's saying but i think that it is important as it begins it starts with a boy singing uh, birds flying high you know how i feel that is mina simone who was so plagued and tortured in love and her struggle with mental illness was well documented this is jay-z breaking stigmas in his own way and remixing it and acknowledging his own pain portraying himself as the boy singing that birds in the sky you know how i feel it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a hearken to the change that jay-z has made it's a hearken to him leaving behind a more karmic masculine way then we move into eartha kitt and eartha kitt is passionate as she talks about how love needs to be earned eartha kitt too also debatably struggling with mental illness but was in a full full uh she had full range and motion of her sacral chakra her root chakra and her solar plexus she knew who she was and she was that unapologetically she loved falling in love but she wanted it to be done for the right purpose and not just for the sake of falling in love we move on to a dark scene with a woman who is quite androgynous if she did not have on a dress wearing muted colors and these colors depict the lack the the luster the lack of luster in her life she is circling her masculine her masculine is circling her we cut to brutality where someone has injured and run over somebody the things that love makes us do we talk about a man who talks about having a conversation with god realizing that ending his life with a bullet in his stomach was not what he was designed to do he was ascending through his karmic masculine behavior being out in the streets doing anything to be able to come into a place where he knew he had a purpose this is powerful imagery and this imagery walks us into the dance that the divine masculine and the the car the karmic masculine divine masculine karmic feminine divine feminine do there is a picture of 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 children and boys there are ak's at the backs of our neck it is symbolic she he shows the unrelaxed part the 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 parts that we have tried to hide the mastery the artistry subways taking a ride spinning break dancing being glorious be suspended the imagery is powerful we are the sum of our parts we are the sum of our experiences we are an evolved culture we are brutal there are two people that fight and in the fight the divine feminine submits the masculine it's a karmic masculine i would imagine from the way the fight happens and she definitely uh a sense <laughs> in her own way and then we move on and then the dance begins i didn't think it would be right for you guys to watch this video without understanding the depth of what jay-z did in this what the art directors did what he and beyonce created in this because i know that she weighed in as well solange looks like she was here as well regarding the dance moves and the very plain kind of um apocalypse now uh kanye kind of yeezy energy but these two are dancing and they are trained and they are classical i've researched them they were not just people off the street and it's not a dance that looks uh, fluid or easy it's a dance that almost looks painful because that's the dance of love under the duress and the stress of living and being in the existence of the lives that we carry whether you are melanated or not but in the melanin and in in the light you see the struggle and you see the fight and you see him trying to 
uh, come to grips with the chains. What are the chains? It's literal here, but what are the chains? And then we fade to blue and we hear what Jay-Z has to say. It's interesting that they've picked a feminine who looks like she could carry the weight of the world on her back. She looks haunted. She is gaunt. And then they intersperse to uh, the power of our brilliance, light, comedy, the power of our togetherness, the energy, the tribal dances that we do. This is Jay-Z walking you into the world. And maybe like he was teaching it through the eyes of blue. This is America. This is us. Bombs bursting by night, booties popping and twerking just right, police beatings, this is America, Donald Glover, can you see it? We are mad with our laughter, we are mad with our rage, we are mad with explosions, we are mad with our pain, we don't know and we are unsure, and yet we are still trying to seek a love that is pure. This is art. We see Basquiat, who Jay-Z is greatly influenced by the artist, famous black artist who was friends with Andy Warhol and was wildly talented. His works now go for millions, but he painted them in dim lights and tenements while he had heroin shooting through his veins. Kind of a Jimi Hendrix way. There are times when the weight of our talent is so extreme that it drives us to madness. There are times when the weight of the love is so heavy that it bleeds us and leads us to deep sadness. And that's what Jay-Z does in this video. It's so much more than just a song. It's so much more than 444. Four, four. It's so much more than words. It's not just the existential crisis. Are we alive? Are we living? Can we thrive? Are we able to embody this thing called life and light if we are always trapped in our pride? He shows us him and B at their height, happy and singing and dancing. Everything is perfect. According to B, everything's just right. And she's in great synergy. This is divine masculine and feminine coming together. He has ascended from his karmic position and he wants us to see. I understand why she was in my life while B chose me. Because divine feminines, we choose. You vet. We are the ones that make sure that they never forget that a divine feminine by their side is not just a ride or die. It's not just a Bonnie or Clyde. It's a one-way, first-class ticket to the best kind of life. And that's what we see when they're dancing side by side. We be all night. It's the party. It's the celebration. Work hard. Play harder. These two are demonstrating the best of what it's meant to be. It's an expensive cost to be J, Z, and B. And if you are modeling yourselves, not necessarily after them, but after a power couple that does ascend, then you need to know that what Jay-Z's done in 444 is leave you not just a blueprint. He's left you so much more. And we're back to them dancing, to her shrugging him off, to him surrounding her with his madness, with her trying not to run off with her succumbing in sensuality, even though it looks painful. I've never seen anything more orgasmic, more Holy Spirit. Never seen anything look more like it drained her. She's empty. I've never seen a more brilliant conveyance of our life in all of its colors, not just black and white. Come back and join me next time, guys, and we will continue to evolve together.